what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is an exciting preview to the return of the Premier League for Chelsea Football Club who are going away to the stubborn gates of Turf Moor to, I was going to fight Burnley, I was going full Lord of the Rings there, to play Burnley in the Premier League. Turf Moor is indeed a gnarly place to go at this time of year and Burnley as a team kind of evolved these last sort of 12 months under Sean Dyche. They're no longer just a sit-in, rough you up team, although they've definitely got that in their locker and they might do that to Chelsea. But there's a lot of things to consider with them and we're going to get into that in today's video. But I want to take this opportunity guys to tell you this video is brought to you by Acker Tips. If like me, you enjoy a flutter on the football every now and again and I often like to bet on accumulators and stuff, you might be interested in Acker Tips. It's a new website that basically kind of gives you the edge. It uses a sophisticated AI system to basically give you advice on gambling and there's no other platform or service like it for football fans out there at the moment and if you're interested in this kind of thing like I am you can have a 14 day free trial of the service and if you're interested in that you should click the link in the description and check it out it's a cool platform it also on the website shows you their success rates of the previous week and previous terms and stuff and it all looks like Generally, they're pretty successful, so it's free. Why not check it out? Remember, you have to be over 18 to use bookmaker sites and gamble. Be gamble aware and be sensible. Oh yeah, and subscribe to Football Therapy if you are new. Right then, Burnley. Chelsea are obviously on a six game winning streak across all competitions. Very, very exciting. They will absolutely be looking to extend that in a fixture that would seem to Chelsea very, very winnable. But Burnley are no mugs. Burnley have obviously beaten Chelsea before in recent years. And like I said previously in the video, they've kind of developed. Sure, they can like sit in deep in their 4 4 2 and just get stuck in and, you know, rough you up but they can knock it about a little bit now as well. They've got some good centre backs, they've got some good midfielders and they've got good strikers. And yeah, we all know Chelsea's biggest weakness is defending set pieces. And if there's one team you don't want to go up against when you're bad at defending set pieces, it is Burnley, man. They will absolutely destroy you in both boxes. Not that Chelsea will be relying on scoring set pieces, but you get what I'm going. Let's talk a little bit more about who they're going to send out to battle at Turf Moor and switch over the screens. Right, next to me on the graphic, you can see the lineup Sean Dyche sent out last time out when they lost 2-1 to Leicester. Probably a little bit unlucky to lose, actually. They have been playing very well recently, and actually, they've been winning at home. 4-4-2, the generic Sean Dyche formation. Up front, they've got Wood, who's been in fine form scoring goals. As you can see, he scored last time out. They've got Jay Rodriguez, at the club now he partnered Wood but also they've got Ashley Barnes who's a huge threat always and I think he's basically got a knack for scoring against Chelsea he wasn't on, in the match they scored last time out so I'm not sure if he's returning to the team for this game but if he is he's a huge threat and regardless their striker combination will be deadly and a huge threat against Chelsea that Chelsea need to be aware of Pope's obviously a very very good goalkeeper England international he'll be looking to keep a lot of shots out and you know what in front of them having Tarkovsky and me good centre backs and the four along the middle all decent players Brady's very good you know Hendrick man Hendrick has a knack for scoring worldies and generally he does it against better opposition so Chelsea if he's got the ball 30 40 yards out it does not mean you are safe man they'll sit in quite compact and they will absolutely try to throw balls over the top if Chelsea leave spaces which I'll probably talk more about in a moment but let's have a look at how Chelsea might line up right so regardless to the fact Burnley are at home and they're not actually that much of a sort of minnow anymore I still think they'll sit in a compact block and try and shut Chelsea out. So Chelsea are going to have to be quite attacking. I think Chelsea are going to play the 4-2-3-1. It might be listed on the match day as a 4-3-3, but I think in terms of shape, it will be set up as a 4-2-3-1. This formation affords Chelsea the most opportunity to press high and interchange in the final third better. It's basically the most attacking system. And when you are a possession-based team like Chelsea, you have to be really, really good at attacking because the opposition are going to play about the ball and inherently become more and more compact. So you need basically more of a lock-pick formation, which I guess the 4-2-3-1 is. In terms of personnel in the lineup, Frank will probably explain who's fit and who's not fit doesn't always mean he's going to be starting certain players so like we don't know if um emerson or rudiger will start even if he says they're a bit more fit 
Same with N'Golo Kante. Again, obviously Chelsea played midweek and had that superb result away at Ajax, which was probably very physically and emotionally draining. So if Lampard can, he might be looking to do some rotation. But to be honest, I still expect players like Mason Mount to start Tammy Abraham and Callum Hudson the Doy, really. People are obviously calling out for Christian Pulisic to play after his recent really positive cameos. The uh, last few times he's come off the bench and it's been really, really positive. He may well do start, but I think it wouldn't be bad at all if he doesn't start because he's being nursed in. And his first start in the Premier League, away at Burnley at Turf Moor on a cold day, being roughed up by those people, that's probably a bit too much of baptism of fire for his first you know, start again in the Premier League. So I understand if Frank Lampard doesn't start Pulisic, but again, sees him as a weapon off the bench later on in the game when Burnley are tired. Really, a lot of it will come down to, I think, fitness on the day. I'm sure Frank Lampard prepares players for matches days and days before, but when the Champions League is midweek and you've got an away game and it's such an epic game, I think all bets might be off to a degree. You probably have a general game plan against an opposition like Burnley. So we'll have to see what happens, but I, you know, Alonso and Aspilicueta starting would not surprise anyone. Alright, let's talk a little bit more how this game can go and get rid of this analysis screen. Right then, Burnley. Everyone looks at this fixture when they have to go away to Burnley and they're like, oh god, it's that fixture. Not just because it's a really cold and windy stadium where the wind cuts through and the opposition are, you know, really physical and intimidating but it's just a hard game man because of the coaching style as well they'll be resolute they'll be that sort of never die attitude and when you've just been away midweek to amsterdam and had like i said an emotionally draining game this is probably the last thing that you wanted something like southampton at home again would have been a lot nicer you know that kind of thing so that's not the easiest thing in the world to deal with and like i said it will probably be a low comeback block it certainly will be a four for two from Sean Dyche looking to hit long balls over the top like the aforementioned danger obviously Chelsea if they do play the 4-2-3-1 like I said makes a lot of sense in terms of unpicking the lock of Burnley then the 4-2-3-1 can often leave space between the defensive and midfield line especially if there's only those two deep midfielders so if there's spaces either side of the engine room knocking long balls over for runners like Wood, Barnes, Rodriguez to run onto could be huge problems. The recovery pace of Tomori would be really important for me here so whoever he's partnered with I don't know the, if Rudiger is going to come back in yet or not again I haven't watched the press conference sue me but recovery pace is indeed going to be very very important to preventing those strikers from getting in behind I think as for the quota, I know he hasn't been tested much recently, but he might need to make a couple of important saves in this game for Chelsea to get so I'll say something out of it. They should absolutely be aiming for the win here, but they might be threatened and Burnley won't roll over whatsoever for Chelsea. If they're scoring at Leicester, then they'll fancy it at Chelsea as well, absolutely. Chelsea really needs to try and pull them apart. I know that's going to be so, so difficult. I think this would be a difficult game for Tammy Abraham. It would be really, really nice for him to get another goal and hopefully stay at top or joint top goal scorer in the Premier League. You always fancy Sergio Aguero to get another goal every week. But it would be really, really nice for Tammy Abraham to get a goal. And obviously, if Frank Lampard does turn to his bench, if he can't pick the lock, like I keep saying, then imagine the scenes of Christian Pulisic comes on and scores the winning goal, which he absolutely could. The dude has been popping off shots, but he's, they've just not been going in. Um, when the first one goes in, you know, superb. So that would be awesome if he scores the winning goal. Or well, how about someone like Mateo Kovacic to score his first goal for Chelsea? Now imagine the scenes. I'm waiting for that day with bated breath, as are all of you, I'm sure, provided you are Chelsea fans. I'm going to do a score prediction. I think this is going to be a very, very hard game indeed. I do back Chelsea to win because it's the feel good factor, but I think it's going to, they won't be able to hold 100% concentration for the whole 90 minutes. I'm going to predict a 2-1 win to Chelsea, but you would not be surprised if it was just one of those games that was incredibly frustrating. Saying that, Chelsea did put a few goals past Burnley last time they played them. I think it may be at Turf Moor as well. I'm just not sure that will happen again. Obviously that was a different system under Sarri, but I'm going to stick with 2-1. I think that's a pretty solid prediction. Anyway, what do you think? Get down in the comment section below. I want to hear your predictions of the game. How do you think it will go? Who's going to score? What's going to happen? If you enjoyed the content, guys, please do like the video and subscribe if you are new. And you can follow me on social media at FootballYannick on both Twitter 
and Instagram. And if you want to join the Discord to talk to me about football and the rest of the subscribers and the Go Gang, you can join the Discord server. I'm malfunctioning again, dude. Click the link in the description underneath Hacker Tips. It's for the Patreon link, and you can join the Discord server. Wow, I did it. That's it for me guys, you lot enjoyed the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me baby.